Do you think you can tell us a little bit about how you got started with dance and what styles you studied? Oof. Uh, I started in dance when I was three years old because uh, my mom didn't know what to do with me. Um, I was a total... <laughs> I was a full-blown ADHD child who couldn't sit still and made up little worlds in her mind. Um, I went to, so I danced, I've been dancing pretty much my whole life. I haven't been dancing quite as much lately, um, mostly because I (laughs) have injured myself so many times and it just kind of hurts a lot. Um, But I continued on after high school sort of I took a little bit of a break because I went to school for conservatory theater um and then left that went to music theater school left that moved to LA to dance um dancing has been a part of my life for such a long time that it, it kind of like I guess I I sort of just like fell into that world just because I thought that's what I should do. And, and like, it was fun and I love it dearly. Um, but I don't necessarily consider myself a professional dancer as much anymore. Um, and to, to be honest, it's, it's mostly because I just didn't have the same kind of drive that other people had for dance in particular. I've got a ton of drive when it comes to acting and, and performing. But specifically for dance, it it feeds my soul when it's for me. Um, but it and it took me a really not long time to realize it. But it wasn't what I needed to do for the rest of my life. Um, also, you can't dance for your whole life unless you want to teach down the line, but like it's physically impossible to be at that level all the time. And when I started, like I got injured when I was 16, um, when I was doing a tour in in Spain of all places. Um, And I, I dislocated my hip and that kind of really, and like I went through all the, the rigmarole of, um, trying to doing physio and trying to get that kind of like fixed and back into shape but it always was something that just hurt like a lot all the time mm-hmm. and for some people like powering through the pain and if, if they want it so badly then it's not something that um, deters you from doing it but to a certain point I just kind of fell out of love with dance um because a it hurt all the time and i just i realized that there was other parts of my heart that weren't kind of getting used wow that was a really <laughs> long-winded answer but you had some pretty <laughs> quotable statements in there i'm actually writing that, oh. that last oh, yeah. part that's a song lyric right there <laughs> Yeah. And it's like, and it's, it's fine. And I, there's, there's nothing wrong in the world for loving something and wanting to do it. And, but realizing that it's not the only thing that you want to do. There are people in this world, tons of people that dance is the only thing that brings them joy. And that's dope. That not only thing, but like biggest, brightest running towards that fucking light at the end of the tunnel kind of, um, kind of thing that you can do and I love that um but it just wasn't it's not for me quite so much anymore in the sense of like professional professional like music video tours with fucking pop stars kind of thing I see yeah um I do however work with a company called Insomniac um which has taken me like I've gotten to travel across the world um to perform at music festivals um which is this 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 part of history has really put a damper on those too um but that kind of dancing is like sheer performing and just like connecting with human beings and um 
I really love that kind of dance. I see. I see. That was so much. I'm so sorry. No, uh, uh, you know what? I, I really relate to you because the thing about dance is it's not just performance. It's also athletics. And I... I, I understand what it's like to get injured and then trying to power through an injury and it's a debilitating injury that sticks with you for a long time. I've mm-hmm. had to give up uh, some regular daily routines. I've had to change my workout routine. I've had to give up a sport that oh, I yeah? really loved because of a debilitating injury. So I, I, I know exactly where you're coming from. But also it's one of those things where it's like I knew I didn't love it so much to wake up with that pain and then go to sleep yeah. with that pain. If, if I could totally. keep it at bay and if it means I have to put the sport to the side or play it recreationally, then so be it. I have other interests, right? That's Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Becoming an adult. It sucks, you know. (laughs) I don't want to. Oh, I know. I know. (laughs) I guess going off of that, would you say that just physical fitness and mental preparation that does play into cosplay prep? Huh. Yes. Um, And for reasons that I, I don't. For different reasons than you may think, um, and for reasons that are not always uh, the nicest, um, I love my little world and my little circle in the cosplay community and the friends that I have made. There's a lot of things that I don't love about the cosplay world, and in particular, um, there is so much body shaming when it comes to cosplay um especially on obviously especially online but there is there is a lot a lot of narrative that says that if you are a certain body type you can't cosplay certain characters and i think that is bullshit um i agree i think anyone and everyone cosplay is for everyone cosplay that's the reason cosplay exists is because we every single one of us were marginalized in some way or another whether it's by the things that we liked by the the hobbies that we had the way that we acted in in social circumstances every single one of us for the most part obviously there's exceptions were put into a small little box and kind of pushed to the side And then most of us found cosplay and realized there's this incredible community of people exactly like us that have the same interests and the same hobbies and, and, and probably act the same um, in one way or another. And we all, of course, within the broad spectrum of the cosplay community, we find our little, our, our little happy little families, but so, so that's why it makes me so sad and kind of angry that within this community that we have all experienced negative words or bullying or, or body shaming or racism and all that shit, why within that we would <laughs> choose to do that to each other? That kind of thing really upsets me. And it doesn't make... Anyone can cosplay anyone. Any character. In my opinion. Unless it's... uh, There's obviously exceptions to that rule. But you should be able... If you like a character, you should be able to cosplay that character. No matter what size and shape they are. I don't fucking look like... First of all, my favorite character to cosplay is Tinkerbell. I'm not a fairy. Don't, I mean, that's not true. That's not true. Prove to me that I'm not a fairy. <laughs> but I truly believe that I am, but that's a different conversation. You are. Not, you are. Thank you. Um, I'm not... It's four inches tall. Like, so these are... These are make-believe characters that we are putting on a costume to look like. So you can't you can't use your imagination or just you know support the fact that someone likes this character enough to portray them. There's 
Anyway, sorry, you made me go on a rant. My <laughs> point was... <laughs> rant away if you need to, it's fine. <laughs> um, the point was that, yes, there is a lot of physical and mental preparation that goes into cosplay. Um, if you feel more confident in a costume when you have been, say, physically active, dope love that for you. If you feel better about yourself when you've been working out, you feel good and you look at the mirror and you're like, hell yeah, look at that. High five yourself. Awesome. I don't think anyone should force themselves or hurt themselves to fit a cosplay character. I think that's insane. Um, mentally, there's a bunch of prep that goes into it of, of like, it's really hard. And this doesn't just go for cosplay. This goes kind of for existing. Um, it's really hard to find sometimes find confidence within yourself that you can put outwards. And sometimes people are going to say shitty things. So mentally just, armoring yourself like putting you put on your cosplay armor and then you put on your brain armor basically to just say and it, it, it helps I, wow okay I'm having like three thoughts at the same time welcome to ADHD Mackenzie um I found a lot that when you put on a cosplay when you put on a cosplay that brings out the confidence that brings out the power because so often I, the person that I am I can feel incredibly self-conscious or nervous or socially anxious or socially awkward um and that takes it, it takes a lot of work and takes a lot of mental effort to get to this confident uh version of myself but when i'm in costume bitch <laughs> like that confidence is like tenfold when i'm harley quinn no one can fuck with me nice um nice. i don't know if that answered your question at all <laughs> no it, it honestly it did and it, <laughs> okay. it also revealed a lot about your your thinking with cosplay i oh, yeah. i remember there was a time when and like I, I like to say, like I have cosplayed in the past, but I'm more of an appreciator than a participator. And cool. um, I I remember when if you didn't look like the character, you would get shat on, and like people would say, "Well, you know, we 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 think it's cool that you got the outfit, but you don't have the same skin complexion, or your hair isn't of the same length, or you're too tall yeah. for this character, or you're too yeah. thick for this character." There was a time when uh, I had a friend who was told because he loves pokemon and um like we all love pokemon but when everyone he, loves pokemon everyone loves pokemon i have a trick <laughs> sitting around here that's like my my stuffed animal that i confide to i'll find it after oh wow okay hold on a second <laughs> yes work and i don't know if it um i also have my pokemon grinders yeah <laughs> <laughs> i am a i'm a huge pokemon fan i can't help it but um no. i I do see a change in current cosplay attitudes. And my friend, as I was saying, uh, he was told once when he went cosplaying as a Pokemon character, I don't remember which one, probably one of the gym leaders or Elite Four. He was told on like several occasions during the event that he should cosplay as Brock because he looks like Brock. And I'm, I, I was there like, that's... I, I can't believe someone would actually say that, like especially at a convention where we all have the same hobbies, we all have similar habits, but you feel the need to tear someone down and try yeah. to put them in a box, which was very strange to me. But that's an attitude that, while it still does exist a little bit, a lot of it has dissipated over time. And like just hearing yeah. you talk, it, it makes me so happy that like you feel that way. Oh, I've always felt that way. Um <laughs> I don't, I, I really think that, again, as I have said, and I'm probably going to say it again, like, cosplay is for everyone. So there are, there aren't boxes that, that cosplayers should fit into. There aren't a certain amount of characters that, that 
you should play. Like, that's stupid. I don't, like, I don't have real life superpowers. So why, like, um, and it's still like those, those, that mentality, as you said, still is present. Um, but more and more, and it does make me happy to see, at least, I mean, like everyone lives in a little eco chamber of their own, um, ideals in social media now, but I have been seeing more and more support and like, yeah, yeah, I guess support. Just like people, A, standing up for the fact that any kind of cosplayer should be able to cosplay anyone. Um, and people, and also just like recognition for those cosplayers, especially when they do such a dope job. There are some POC cosplayers out there that, holy shit, like I see some some POC cosplayers doing like Harley Quinn and it blows my mind. Wow. Because it's so good. Yeah. And like, hell yeah. Absolutely. And if we all love the same character, shouldn't we all support people doing that character? A hundred percent. I fully agree. 